Hi guys, Gemma Ganya with Convicted Hearts. I'm going to just touch up on a subject I touched on earlier in a video. I mean, probably um, maybe a month ago in a video. But before I do that, if you could just um, hit the subscribe and the bell button so you're notified when I upload, that would be greatly appreciated. Today I'm just letting you guys know an update on the Pearl Fernandez issue, uh, case rather. Um, I, I normally don't like to use the, the victim's name or picture, but I will use his name because we should continue to speak his name, Gabriel Fernandez, the little boy that was tortured and, um, ultimately killed by his mother and her boyfriend. Um she had applied for some sort of sympathy uh, for her sentencing where she had believed due to the new laws passed which I believe or uh, I say that loosely because the last time I said that somebody attacked me on one of my videos I can only assume it was one of Pearl's relatives by how personal the attack sounded but when I say I believe, it's because I don't know it to be a certain fact, but I believe the loophole she was trying to file for was one of which was recently passed by the governor of California right now. So she thought she may have had a chance at getting some sort of sympathy or a lesser sentence if they would reduce the malice of the murder sentence um, for her son, Gabriel. I found out yesterday that the judge denied that plea, which I'm very glad to hear so, and I'm sure most of you are. With that being said, I want to say this because I'm, I'm pretty certain that a couple, if not a few of you, may have been Pearl's relatives. And I'm not bashing you guys at all. As a matter of fact, if you didn't know what was going on in her home, um, I understand that. By no means am I giving that a pass. If you did know what was going on, uh, you, you were absolutely responsible for reporting it and taking action. But speaking as myself, um, being in a family where I am considered a victim of a crime, but also the relative of a person who caused that crime. I can understand how hurtful it is to hear people speak about what took place in your family. When I first began watching YouTube, that was one of my worst fears. And in fact, somebody on YouTube did make a video which included information, even though it was false and spoken on before my siblings case was tried this individual spoke on a case that involved my my brother um, and they spoke on a case that involved him while he was in custody in state prison and unfortunately this individual was somebody who should have known better because they're from that life you know but with that said I'm just updating you guys the request that Pearl Fernandez made before the judge she saw was denied she will not be granted that mercy of the malice charge she will serve the sentence she was originally given had she uh, received these charges or the sentence Several years later, she might be looking at something much lighter than what she received. It should be interesting to see, not interesting in a way of, I hate saying that because there was a child who lost his life tragically, and I don't, see this is why I don't like talking about this, that's a touchy subject for me. Uh, I'm a mom of six, and my heart for children is deeply, deeply sensitive. If not for anything else in life, if it comes to kids, I don't have any, any 
sympathy for you if you've caused a child harm. And lately it seems like there has been a lot, a lot of cases of children either going missing or winding up dead at the hands of a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a stepmom, a stepdad, and a parent. And I want all of you parents to think about this. And really, please listen to me. I'm not trying to say this in a way where I'm like, I'm better than you. But listen, not everybody is your child's stepmom or stepdad. Some people will just come in and out of your life. That's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your side piece, your boo thing. But they have no responsibility as far as your child comes. And if you expect to wake up every morning and see your child's beautiful face and smile and look forward to the years you have with them, stop putting just any old you-know-what in their life. Because you don't know what these people are capable of. And I'm tired of hearing about these babies coming up missing, dead, or searched for. And it's never a good ending. Just like in Gabriel's case, in his own family home, his own flesh and blood mother. I can't. I can't. I had said in my previous video about Pearl Fernandez that I would love to have some time alone with her in a dark alley. Somebody did comment something snide. I don't know if this was a relative of her or just somebody that likes to defend child killers. I don't know said something like, they bet I couldn't bust a grape. Think what you want, baby. I will bust all the grapes when it comes to someone who takes the life of their own child or allows a man or woman to do so and backs them up till the end. That is one time you will see the worst side of me, the side I don't even want to see. And that's why I have done the best to change my life because I don't ever want to see that side of myself again. I Yes, I am a lover, but yes, I am a fighter. And when you put those two things together, especially when it comes to children, you don't want to see that. In no means am I making any threats, obviously. I'm just saying... As a mother, I'm tired of hearing about these kids being harmed and touched. Be a parent. Stand up. Stop bringing in every raggedy old piece of you-know-what around your kids. Not everything you're messing with needs to meet your babies. Not everybody's worthy of being in the presence of your children. If something happened going forward in my life, I don't think I would bring anyone in front of my kids. I'm not trying to ever set them up for hurt or failure. And I trust very few, believe me, because my own blood has done me wrong. And if they can do me wrong, anybody can do me wrong. Stop bringing strangers around your children. But as far as this update goes, Pearl Fernandez was died, denied, not died, jeez. I don't wish that on anyone, but uh, that's between her and God. Denied her appeal. And I... I wish healing prayers and everything to the family of Gabriel, number one. I know he's with the Lord because that's what I believe. That's my faith. That's what I can and will believe. And I know most of you do the same. I send prayers to the family of Pearl as well because I don't think... 
I don't, I don't know. I would, I'd like to hope and think that they didn't know that was going to happen. And then to the father, the real father, the bio father of Gabriel, who was incarcerated at the time of his death. I can't imagine the guilt he feels right now. How could you, how could you protect your baby when you're incarcerated? And then to be notified when you're behind bars and you know you couldn't have protected your child, the tremendous amount of guilt you would feel would <sighs> take your breath away. So I'm just sending prayers out to everyone. It doesn't hurt to pray for people, you guys. You know, everybody thinks sin is on a, I don't know. <sighs> There's different levels to this ish. You know what I mean? I can and can't disagree. You know what I'm saying? Like, I realize sin is sin. But when it comes to a child, there is something in that area reserved in my mind, in my spirit, that I just can't forgive. That's between you and God at that point. Because it ain't in me to be able to get over So rest in peace, Gabriel, sweet Gabriel. And may the people that caused him that torture and harm when he only wanted to show love, even up until Mother's Day, may they forever feel ashamed for what they did and how they failed him. One day they'll know. We all meet our maker one day. Until that day, you guys do your best to be kind, be compassionate, be genuine, and look out for everybody's babies, not just your own. Sending you a ton of love, Jim with Convicted Hearts. Until next time.